Hello viewers, thanks for watching Parties Extra, brought to you by Party Galaxy. At the YWCA, they are kicking off a spring campaign to build a new shelter for battered women and children. This month, there was a party for volunteers and board members who are helping with the campaign. So welcome ladies, glad you're here. Thanks for having us. We're glad to be here. Well, you are um, getting ready to start a big capital campaign, I guess, for the YWCA. So tell us about, tell us about it. Well, we are the um, provider for domestic violence services in Oklahoma County and surrounding areas, and we have the only shelter in town. And we've well outgrown that shelter. Domestic and it's for women and children. For women right? and children. Mm -hmm. And so the capital campaign, the two key elements of that will be to build a new shelter and then to take our current shelter and actually repurpose that to where uh, the families can stay for a little longer if needed be out of the emergency shelter. So it'll give us a little bit more time to work with them, a little bit time to uh, help them identify what are the resources that they need to move forward to a life without violence. So how did the idea come about? Oh, it's been on my dream board now for several years. And we've faced many years of being full 99.9% .9 of the time. So space-wise, it was just needed desperately. The issues are uh, growing in our community. The awareness of it is growing as well, and so more people are reaching out for safety. And the only answer at this time was really for us to be able to expand what we are already doing. Well, what will you use the old shelter for? We're gonna repurpose that mm -hmm. to an interim, longer term, where they can stay for probably six to nine months if they're not necessarily emergency situation right then or not really able to go into our transitional housing, which is long-term, but it's also only a few, um, few uh, apartments. I'm trying to figure out how to say that. So uh, it is, um, it'll be kind of that in-between step for those that don't need emergency. It's not right dire right now, it's a safety need, but it's also not necessarily safe for them to go back to the community. Well, when does the campaign start? Well, we'll have our official kickoff in the spring. And Chris, how much money are we looking at? Well, we're looking at uh, $15 million. Aha, uh -huh. so, well, that's gonna be a good. That's a good hunk. Mm -hmm. And yes. uh, it's going to help us uh, have a new facility. So we have uh, about 88 new beds. And then uh, part of that uh, money also will go for an endowment so that we can maintain and take care of the new facility that we'll have. And then uh, part of it's going to uh, about 2 million to the McFarland branch of the YWCA over on Martin Luther King. And I think Jan can kind of speak to that, what we're going to do there, we're, it's kind of like a satellite to the YWCA branch that we have now. That, and you have uh, other services there too. Right. Uh -huh. We've already begun to expand our crisis services over there somewhat. It provides an opportunity in that community for access. It also helps us as we are outgrowing space with programs, wraparound services for those that we serve. So. We'll change it, do a lot of renovation inside to make that space more suitable for uh, meetings, groups, etc. I see. Well, Leela, you are the um, a great volunteer person, and you have uh, gotten everyone sort of enthused about this campaign. Um, well, so tell us about the party you had, and we don't want them to get tired of waiting for something to happen, <laughs> and we don't start really till uh, spring, the mm -hmm. capital campaign. Right. to get the funding. And so we had a thank you party and gracious host said have it at our home and gracious people helped us and we had an enormous turnout with lots of enthusiasm. But we can always use more volunteers. Well, There's something for everybody to do. And you all had a sign up sheet at this event mm -hmm. and you also had plans for the new building that, that are already right. ready to go. And um, so everyone, the volunteers got to see all that. And so how many volunteers do you have and how many do you need? Well, uh, over 150, 50, about 150. Ha have firmly said, what can I do or I can do this. Thanks for being there with all your help for the women and children who are subject to domestic violence. It's great that there's a place to go and that people care. You're doing a wonderful job in this community. Thanks for coming in.